The standard deviation is a measure of the spread of data away from the middle of the data. For the standard deviation, the middle is measured by the mean. The standard deviation can be thought of as the average distance of the data away from the mean of the data. That is not exactly correct in terms of how the standard deviation is calculated mathematically, but this is a way to think about the standard deviation. The data in this example is the location in centimeters of marbles along a ruler. There are three samples. The marbles are arranged such that for every data set, the minimum is zero, the mean is 15, and the maximum is 30. The first data set has more marbles near the mean of 15. The second data set has the marbles evenly spread from 0 to 30 centimeters with a mean at 15. And the uh, third data set has the marbles closer to the minimum and the maximum. Again, the mean will be 15. The data from these three samples will be entered into a Google spreadsheet to calculate the standard deviation. I'll open up Google Sheets and open up the spreadsheet with the sample data in it. I have here the first sample from A2 to A10, the second sample B2 to B10, and the third sample C2 to C10 here. Those are the centimeter marks for each of the nine marbles. To the right, I've put some of the statistics onto this spreadsheet, and we can see here the sample size n using the count function for the first sample counts from A2 to A10, and indeed there are nine marbles. The count gives you the sample size, and the letter we use in statistics for the sample size is n. The sample mean we calculate that using the average function. It's giving me the average of A2 to A10. And the symbol we use in statistics is an X with a line above it. Statisticians call that X bar. The minimum is the minimum from A2 to A10, and the maximum is the maximum from A2 to A10. The standard deviation, you simply type equals S, T, and you can see it on the formula bar above my text box, standard deviation already appears. The first one is the one you want, the standard deviation. This one, STDEV. For now, uh, as, they, as they say in the Wizard of Oz, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Pay no attention to those other variations on standard deviation. We'll be using STDEV throughout this course. This is the sample standard deviation, and the variable we use is SX. I'll type in the range. A2 to A10, and I'll press the green check mark. I've now entered in the formula, and the spreadsheet is calculated as standard deviation is 8.38. I want to go ahead and select a the uh, across. I'm going to touch this little blue dot and bring that across, and then I'm going to tap on this and tell it to autofill. This works because the geometry of my data is such that column A is the first sample, B is the second, and C is the third, and they've all got the same sample size. So when I did that autofill, the spreadsheet automatically put into G6 the standard deviation B2 to B10. You could manually type it, but the autofill function, where you select and then autofill, will copy it across for you. You do have to first select your cells by dragging your finger on the screen of your smartphone, and then you simply press autofill, and it will fill it across. You should then check to make sure that the formulas it entered are correct, and that they include the data that you meant to include. You can see here the C2 to C10 is included in that last formula. As noted in the earlier section, the smallest sample standard deviation is associated with the first sample. The marbles are closest to the center. The standard deviation is the smallest. Sample 2, the marbles were evenly spread. The standard deviation around 10, 10 centimeters. And sample 3, the standard deviation is 12.21, the largest standard deviation. Here the marbles were 
clustered towards the minimum and maximum. They had the widest spread. They're farther from the mean. So there's more spread in sample 3 than sample 2 and more spread in 2 than 1. And we see that in the values of the sample standard deviation for which we use the letter SX. So um, that's all there is to calculating the sample standard deviation in a spreadsheet. It gives us a handle on how spread out the data is.